sheet of paper on a billboard. Many displays are now electronic and can adapt their content to the viewer as he or she passes by. Well, we're joined at Prime Site as one of the largest out-of-home advertising firms in the UK. And Noreen Patel is its chief executive and he joins us now. Welcome, Noreen. Good Thank morning. Coming in. Thank you for coming in. Uh, so first of all, just explain to us this concept of out-of-home advertising. Uh, well, out-of-home is basically every ad that you see when you're not in your house. Um, so it's things on uh, rail stations, buses, airports, and on the roadside, underground. Um, we kind of th spend three hours a day outside our home looking at billboards, and that's the time you, you spend looking at these ads. Now, with your company, only 3% of your billboards are digital, yeah. but that accounts for 20% of your revenue. Uh, surely that would mean you would want to increase the number of digital billboards you have to increase the revenue? Well, uh, absolutely, but uh, the day of the man and the bucket and paste will always be there. You know, there are just too many billboards out there in the UK. We have 20,000 in total, so we'll never, we'll never digitise them all, but we are digitising the best sites. So, as I said, we're about 20% of our revenues, the industry's around 35. We think it'll get to about 50, but then it'll stabilise, because we need um, the old traditional paper and paste, because it gives us cover everywhere. You know, the same ad goes up in Slough, in Derby, in Edinburgh at the same time, and advertisers like that. They like the fame of getting their ads up. You're a UK-based UK organisation, so you, you mentioned some of the key um, cities in, in the UK. To what extent do, are we affected by billboards? What evidence is there to say that looking at a billboard will affect what I do with my money or I, I do with my time? Well, there's, there's loads of evidence, uh, but uh, the key thing you've got to look at is uh, our advertiser base. So we, our advertisers consist of all the top advertisers in the UK. Uh, Mainly media companies, all the big media companies use out of home. They only use it because it works. Um, and there's, there's a ton of evidence. If you, if you want to check on the uh, IPAO, they uh, provide lots of it. Uh, and what, the way it works is um, when you're out and about, you are more um, active. You have an active mindset. And that makes you absorb messages. Um, and we did a bit of research last year really on, you know, because the whole thing around smartphones, which is really interesting. And we track people's movements, and we found that on the top 20 campaigns, their search increased by up to 40%. <laughs> you know, so if that doesn't prove that outdoor works, you know, what does but, really? But where are you in the sort of marketing spend with your clients? You know, if things get tough economically, are you yeah. lower down in the pecking order when it comes to their marketing spend? So out of home this year uh, is the second fastest growing medium. This is, I'm talking about 2016. For advertising. In terms of advertising. Of course, the internet's the fastest. We'll be second. Uh, and then TV will be third. So we're, we're really important. And digital is what's really driving this. You know, so we've gone from a wonderful media, you know, where you could get your posters put all across the country to something that now gives you a lot of flexibility. You know, so if you are, for example, a car advertiser, uh, all the research says people think about buying cars when they're driving home. Right. Now you can serve your ads on digital billboards between four and seven. That's brilliant. <laughs> it cuts down a lot of wastage. You still have your classic campaign all across the country. You're now turbocharging it with digital. So there's lots of good examples of kind of using data to drive content on screens. And that's what's getting the industry excited about out of home. Uh, just briefly, I want to talk to you about yeah. the dark art of digital advertising, right. targeted yeah. advertising. You mentioned there uh, targeting drivers on their way home yeah. with uh, ads for new cars, yeah, yeah. because that's when we quite often think about it. It's much harder, though, with billboards, isn't it, than on your smart device, where you'll get those banner ads of websites you've been looking sure. at. How do you target it for the audience? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't actually see Tom Cruise and Minority Report happening anytime soon. Um, we kind of only used anonymized data. So we don't use any personal data. So what we do is we pick up, uh, buy a lot of data from kind of smartphone, uh, uh, the mobile networks, gives us travel patterns, gives us ideas of which audiences are going where, and then we load up our content to maximize that. So it's not about, oh, I know you kind of, you know, you were looking for ladders, so I'm going to serve you an adder, uh, a ladder ad on a billboard. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, Nareen Patel, CEO of Prime Site, thank you very much for thank your you. time.